Okay, so come a little closer here. I'll show you this. So this is the base of the drain has this little uh, caulking groove in it, and this is just uh, this is polyurethane. So the first thing we're gonna do is fill up this joint. This is really important so the uh, pan liner adheres to the base of the drain. It's very important to notice that I have a pre-slope on the mortar layer that's going to be directly underneath the pan liner. You'll notice I have critical. the screws backed all the way off, these four screws. That's going to hold up uh, the pan liner until I get it in there. So yeah, so I just want to show you the uh, drain bases we use. Um, these, this is the bottom part. It's got the clamping ring that uh, comes off of it. So this is what you see inside uh, the floor in the video. Um, and it has a pre-slope going up to it. Um, but here, here is that, that caulking groove that we put that polyurethane in there. And then um, you know, this guy just clamps on there and then sucks it all together. Um, this two inch IPS um, will fit, fit the drain top that actually has the grate on there. And there's, uh, there's different finishes and everything. So we stock these and then whatever finishes um, the customer wants, you know, we'll buy the, the top separate, you know, get a decorative, nice decorative grate. And that's adjustable, so your mud bed will be sitting in here like this up to the top of the, the drain once it's all done. Okay, okay, so you can see I got my pan pre cut, and coming a little closer, you can see it's tented up right here because the bolts are holding it up. It's tented over, and um, so this isn't dipping into the polyurethane yet. So, get the corners done. Do some more staples if you need them. Okay, thanks. Got a whole nother box somewhere. So this is a hospital corner. You can see I'm just folding it. I'm not doing any cutting. Sometimes it's a little tricky. It's also helpful if you have, uh, if this is a little warmer, as opposed to being cold, you can put it, put it somewhere out in the sun. And it's a lot easier to work with. So there's one corner. Come over here. Do this one. hospital corner like you like a maid would fold the bed I don't know if they're still called maids they still called maids I think so <laughs> or nannies <laughs> okay cool. housekeeping yeah okay go ahead and cut it so now I got the uh, this is the clamping ring uh, of the drain and I'm gonna feel where the the holes are, and you can feel them with your hand. I'm going to cut out the PVC liner, you know, just a little bit smaller than the head of the bolt. You'll see what will happen here. See, I cut that out. That's going to push it down over the bolt, like so. Okay, okay good. So you got it rolling? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so you can see I, I brought all the bolts up through the liner. Now what I'm going to do is put uh, cut the hole inside the drain. Let's see, get this. So I got the hole. This is a clamping body, so now it can just go on. And I'm going to tighten these bolts down and it's going to suck that polyurethane and seal up between the liner and the flange of the drain. Just tighten down the clamping ring so it sucks down real nice. I guess it's like tightening, uh, tightening lug nuts on a, a wheel. Probably. Do the opposite. Dun, dun. They teach you that in auto class? I never took auto class. They have that at Roseville? Nope. They took Man. it out. We had an awesome auto shop at Nevada Union. Okay, this, this, this fold's a little trickier. It requires using these outside corners. I've already pre-cut them and uh, put the, the pan liner adhesive. 
Uh, be careful not to put any staples below the top of the liner. This is about eight inches off of the, the uh, base of the pan. No staples down low. They all gotta be up high. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe come around here, Kobe, so you can see this. Uh, I'm gonna make another hospital corner here and then I'm gonna have to cut a slit right here to make it fold over. I'm gonna cut straight up like that. And I'm gonna take my pan liner, the adhesive. This is like contact cement, so I just go generous with it. Get it all over. over nicely and then so these are already I already put the contact cement on and it's dry so once I put these two together it's gonna really stick Let's see. so be careful because once you put it on there it's it's on there uh, that goes there Hospital corner will fold back over like that. I'll nail staple. That's a good, good waterproof corner there. And then I'll put another one on top of it here. And so this one's gonna go. like that. Sometimes you have to hold it for a little bit. Just hold pressure on it until it dries. And if you want, you can take it, peel it off before it dries. Get some air to it. And then once you put it back on, it'll usually stick like right away like that. So that's in there. I put a staple on the top of them. And you're, you're good right there. As you can see a little bit better, but yeah, I'll go ahead and put our adhesive on here. Let's see, it's this one. I'm gonna put that on there. Let's see, I'll peel it off and get some hair to it. Just like that. Put a staple in there. Cut off the extra. We're good. So the last thing we're doing is we're putting uh, tape over the clamping ring. We want to make sure that we don't fog up uh, these little weep holes right here. We don't want to get mud inside of those, so we'll we'll cover it up real good to keep mud from getting stuck down in there, so the system will weep good. And uh, there's the pan. It's all ready to go. Ready to float some mud. So thanks again for checking out my video. Uh, please click subscribe. What that does is it encourages me to make more videos for you guys, so that you guys can learn and get better at what you do. Uh, please reply if you have any comments or suggestions for me. If you think you got a better way to do it, I would love to hear it um, as I'm in this trade and I'm here to get better too. So love you guys, have a great one. You're worth it. Go get your money, y'all.